Welcome back to River City Live. We have some really important information to impart on you right now about your pets in this edition of River City Pets, and we want to make sure that you don't miss a beat of it. So Dr. Zachary Newman is with us right now, and we are talking about the sun and the fact that we as humans spend a lot of time, effort, and money keeping our skin safe. We use sunblock, maybe get in the shade, we do everything we can think of to avoid skin cancer, but we're not thinking in terms of how the sun can affect our pets. So, doctor, is this a problem? Is this an issue? Yeah, it's a big problem. And there's a lot of uh, key points to touch base or talk about with pets. So we think about ourselves and protect ourselves from the sun, like you mentioned, but you have to think about your pets as well. The big things being heat exposure. So dogs are very at risk of developing heat stroke. They have a lot of fur. We don't and that fur keeps them nice and warm in the winter months, but in the summer months, it does keep them cool, mm -hmm. but it also keeps them quite warm if, if you overexert them. There's peak hours during the days, so about 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. gets really hot outside. So that's not the time to schedule a, a walk with your pet? Or a run. Or a run. <laughs> I've seen people running with their pets around that time, and it just, you know, it hurts What about the asphalt being hot? Exactly. So that's a key point, too, is the, that pets sweat through their paws, and that's a way that they cool themselves. They also pant a lot. But the sweating through their paws gets blocked when their paws are on pavement, and that's hot. Are there some signs we should be looking for, especially for those who think that their pet loves to run? We don't really know if they like it, do we? Yeah, exactly. What are the signs? Most okay. of them do, and, and uh, the signs to look for is if they start to really slow down, if they become lethargic and just weak, um, if they vomit, that's a very big sign that you need to stop what you're doing and get them to a cool, shaded place and get them some water. Mm -hmm. uh, always bring fresh water with you wherever you go because they need to mm -hmm. have lots of water to cool themselves down. Um, and then the other key thing is protecting them from sun exposure, just like we do with sunscreen. Right. We need to watch them for... Even if they're covered with fur. Exactly. So a lot of pets will go outside, roll over under their belly oh, and lay yeah. in the sun. And they don't have much fur on their belly. And a lot of dogs aren't pigmented on their belly. So those lighter skinned dogs, like the white dogs, will lay out there in the sun. That skin is at risk of developing cancer from the sun. But I've never seen pet sunblock. Do they use our sunblock or is there no, something there is, formulated? There is pet sunscreen, yes. So you is can... Now that I've heard of it, I'll see it everywhere? You can see it everywhere, it? exactly, <laughs> yeah. So if you go online, you'll find uh, places mm -hmm. that will sell pet sunscreen or even just protective clothing, like a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. So if your pet goes outside and is laying in the sun with their belly up, put their t-shirt on them. They can still enjoy the sun, but then also limit the time that they're out there so that they're not exposed too long. I had never thought of this. The <laughs> exposure we hear about all the time, you hear about people breaking yeah. windows to free pets in cars, which I don't think you can address too often. Let's talk about that for just a second, leaving a pet in a car. Yeah, and there was actually a new law passed recently in Florida that allows uh, people, civilians, and protects civilians uh, in the case that they need to break into a car for either children or people at risk or pets in the car and it gets hot in a car very quickly in these summer months. Mm -hmm. uh, it can get up to about 160 degrees mm -hmm. on the inside of a car within minutes if it's about 90 degrees outside. So that is something that you, you know, if you need to, and I would always grab a witness to, to mm -hmm. help or try and call the authorities first, but if you absolutely need to, you can break in. These are all really, really important tips. Things that, like I said, I didn't know there was such a thing as pet sunscreen. Right. And again, that hot asphalt and they can't sweat and that's another reason for the heat exposure. So just a really good idea. Now you might have more questions for Dr. Newman and if you do, you can find him at rivercitylivetv.com. Just click on the As Seen on RCL tab. Mark.